November 3, Golf Kilo Victor. Kilo Victor, Roger, Roger. What's the name? Okay, uh, Jim, name here is Bob, and QTH is Orfield Ocean Radio Echo Foxtrot Indio Echo Delta Orfield PA. I uh, spoke to you last week, and uh, you, I, you had made some suggestions as far as uh, putting a few clicks on the top end. Uh, I made some adjustments to the EQ on this thing, and um, also kind of ran it with a little lower mic gain and, and processing gain. I'm just curious uh, what this is sounding like. Back to you. Sounds really good, but you know, the, the whole thing is uh, what your numbers are on the ALC, uh, and that's, that's the thing. Uh, do, do you have... Uh, Outboard processing, is that a Roger? Uh, no, 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 we're just using the uh, three-band internal equalizer on the FT-DX-101D. And um, I have been, you know, looking at the, uh, uh, trying to keep the, the ALC in range. Uh, that's probably up around the three quarters and uh, processing, uh, actually, maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's going to be a little bit more. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Hopefully, the, the, the processing is, is, is close to the three. Of course, it bounces around a little bit. But uh, back to you, Roger. Now you were just coming up on a good uh, on a good uh, signal strength uh, that last time. Uh, give me uh, 15 seconds on the best thing about your radio. Okay, the best thing about the radio. Well, I like its build quality, its size. Um, enjoy the flexibility of the scope on it, and. Uh, when I have to use it, the dis digital noise reduction on this thing is, is superior to anything else that I've owned. So hopefully I'll turn it back to you. Roger, Roger. I'm looking at your uh, audio on a spectrum analyzer, and uh, uh, your uh, audio uh, curve is very nice. Uh, you're uh, all the way down to 100 cycles and uh, up to uh, 329 on the top, Roger. Okay. Well, that, that hopefully sounds like where I like it. Um, is there enough for the high end in here at this point? Uh, well, I, I wish I had a better copy, but uh, it's it sounds uh, very intelligible, and uh, you know I'm looking at it uh, because uh, there's not enough uh, RF. Uh, I'm looking at a lot of noise along with your signal. So if I had a better signal, I could see more of you and less of the the noise curve, Roger. Okay. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> try to call you when uh, when your signal's coming in here, and at some point you're you're peaking. Uh, yeah, at least. But of course, other points it's, it's under S9, so uh, my signal's not as robust as yours. So, uh, and one of these days I'll get you when there's really good propagation between us. Roger, looking at your curve, I, I think it's beautiful. I, I wouldn't change a thing, and uh, you know maybe we can get a copy on a better day, and I can say just absolutely. But it looks, from what I can see at the moment, I wouldn't change a thing. Okay, very good. Yeah, I, I made a bunch of adjustments on the, the top end, and uh, I, I, at least listening on the monitor seemed to improve things uh, better than it had been. So uh, anyway, we're going to let it be it is today. And uh, thank you for your help, and wish you a, a great weekend. So 73, 10, KV. Roger, Roger, Bob, 3 that way, sir. Thanks for checking in. Appreciate it. And uh, if you want to hear your radio, uh, you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor. And that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And you'll be looking for my group air check 8720. Today's date, my group air check 8720. And uh, we've got a couple of minutes here. If uh, there's somebody else that would like uh, a radio check, uh, this is KC9VKV. Give me a shout.